Contact checklist to the line complete. We're currently on the KC-38 multi-role tanker transport Contact aircraft, checklist. and we just refueled the E-7 wedge tail for the first time on operations in the Middle East. We'll wait for the receiver call. Stable ready. As the wedge tail approaches the KC-30, our first objective is to obtain visual contact with the receiver. Once we ascertain that, we'll make verbal contact with the receiver and coach them into the astern position, which is 50 feet after the air refueling boom, and then guide the receiver aircraft into the contact position through a set of lights underneath the KC-30A. At that point, we'll maneuver the boom into the receptacle. Once it makes a solid and effective contact, it'll start to transfer a fuel to the receiver aircraft. The major significance of the Royal Australian Air Force KC-30A to be able to refuel the E-7 wedge tail is increased flexibility in the area of operations. It allows us to refuel our own aircraft and provide that aviation fuel to increase the effectiveness of the RAF and ADF in the theater. Approaching halfway through the schedule of flight. It's a great honor to fly with the Royal Australian Air Force for three years. It's also a great honor to be a part of this first time event for the Royal Australian Air Force, in particular our squadron.